Whenever there's trouble, well, they're on the double with the Bloodhound Gang. If you've got the crime, we've got the time with the Bloodhound Gang. Looks like we got stood up. You sure this is the spot? Positive. It's just us and that bird watcher over there. It's not bird watching, it's car watching. All the guy on the phone said was to meet him here. He'd know us. He said he could always spot a detective. Let's check him out. Sir? Buzz off. Mr. Jordan, we're from the Bloodhound Detective Agency. I ask for a, a private eye. They send me a bunch of kids. Small fry, still wet behind the ears. Then you'll want to try another agency, sir. Come on, kids. We'll miss the hopscotch funds. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, three pair of eyes are better than one, huh? Maybe I can use you. For what? Don't you recognize me? Should we? Jim Jordan, the tennis whiz. Hey, I was so fast, the newspapers dubbed me... Flash, Jordan. I was on my way to the top. I guess all that was before your time, huh, kids? I guess. Yeah, then I got hit. Hit and run. Busted leg and all that. Uh, I never got my speed back. It blasted my tennis career. Did the police find the car? No. But I've never given up. I've spent years on the hunt. San Francisco, New Orleans, Boston, Chicago. And I'm still on the chase. You figure it's here in the city? Mm-hmm. I got a call from a friend who spotted it. I took the first flight out of Miami this morning. What kind of car is it? White. Big white limo. Did you say you live in Miami? <sighs> yeah. Giving tennis lessons to clucks and gum chewers. <laughs> you want us to find the white limo? You got it. There must be dozens in town. Just check out the driver. Head shaved like a billiard ball. Just get me the license number and I'll do the rest. Well, how do we get in touch with you? Well, I'll be checking into the Starbuck Hotel at 14th and Bedford. I always stay there when I'm in town. Well, we'll stake out intersections. Well, good hunting, kids. You haven't said a word, Vicky. Why bother checking out his hotel? No, oh, just playing a hunch. What hunch? Let's see what the people at the hotel know about Mr. Flash Jordan. I don't see any hotel around here. Ma'am? Can you tell us where to find the Starbuck Hotel? Try the city dump. What? That hotel's been torn down five, six years ago. Thanks. That tears it. Mr. Flash Jordan is playing us for chumps. Tennis pro from Miami. I don't buy it. Didn't you notice how pale his skin is? Got it. He ought to be as tan as a baseball man. That's right. He's laying down some kind of a story. He hasn't been in the Florida sun. But why would he give us the name of a hotel that was torn down years ago? Maybe he didn't know. But he says he always stays there. Well, then he's been out of town for a long time. Or out of circulation. Didn't he tell you he could always spot a detective? Well, only someone mixed up with the law would know something like that. A cop? Or a crook? I vote crook. Say he has been out of circulation. In prison? Sure. He's been out on the streets, right? An ex-con. Look! Oh, was the driver bald? I couldn't tell, but I caught the license. It said whale, H whale. He must have come out of one of those shops. Well, I'll go check. I'll meet you back at the office. I'll see what I can fish out of motor vehicles on Mr. Whale. Nothing? Well, thanks anyway. I'm really striking out. There's no H whale in the phone book, and the people at motor vehicles have no record. Must be an out-of-state license. Do Mr. Bloodhound's files show an ex-con named Flash Jordan, or whatever his name is? Did you check aliases? And came up zilch. Can you get a readout on escaped convicts? I'll check. If Mr. Bloodhound entered it, I can get it out. How would you like a description of the guy in the white limo? I'd be delirious. He has a neck like a bull, wears a size 20 collar, and his sleeves are 35 inches long. But does he have a shaved head? Yeah, he weighs about 235 pounds, plenty of muscle. How'd you get his measurements? He has his shirts custom made. 
He went to pick them up and we saw him drive away. Size 20 collar, 235 pounds? Mr. Whale is really a big fish. Whales are not fish, they're mammals. He sounds like a wrestler. Maybe we should check the gyms. I already have a line on him. His name is not H. Whale. That must mean something else. Well, then who are we looking for? Last name Richard, first name Mo, middle initial B. That was the moniker he left at the shirt shop. And he lives at the Essex Hotel. Nice going, Ricardo. Here's your list on escaped convicts. Take your pick. Well, maybe we can narrow it down. Jordan had a real jailhouse complexion, remember? How about George A. Habler? Broke out of jail three days ago. Alias New Orleans kid. Can you bring up his record? Thirty-four years old. Stands five feet ten inches high. Weighs about 150 pounds. Hair blonde, eyes blue. And he's a nail biter. Sounds like our client, Mr. Flash Jordan. He was sent up for 12 years on grand theft for the gold bug caper. Hijacked a security truck and made away with $200,000 in gold bars. Never recovered. Bloodhound Detective Agency, whenever there's trouble, we're there on the double. Mr. Bloodhound isn't here. Oh, yes, Mr. Jordan. No, we haven't spotted the white car yet. Uh, where did you say you were staying? Well, can you give us a number where we can reach you? You'll call us. But, sir, it would be better if... Pretty cagey. Our client is pulling a hide-and-seek act. I heard. He'll call us? I'll let the police know that we think Flash Jordan, alias the New Orleans kid, is in town. Well, we'd better get to size 20 collar before he does. No telling what Flash has in mind. I'll meet you at the Essex Hotel. Right. What did he say size 20's collar's name was? Mo B. Richard. I think I saw Mo while screening aliases. Work on it. Hello, police? That big fish got away. Checked out three days ago. Three days ago? That's when Flash busted out of prison. No forwarding address. The desk clerk spotted him coming out of the Melville Arms. That's just a few blocks across town. Let's go. Save your legs. I just called the Melville. Checked out? Yesterday. After half a day. No forwarding address, huh? No, that big guy's running scared. Say he read that Flash busted out of jail. And knows Flash is out to get him? Right. He could be holed up anywhere. That blue book. What blue book? The desk clerk says the whale carries a book under his arm like a pet poodle. What would you guys do without me? Spill it. Moby Richards is an ex-wrestler. Used to know himself as the human whale. His license, H. Whale. He's also an ex-con. Hijacked a security truck. A gold buck caper with Flash Jordan? None other. They were both pinned up for 12 years, but the human whale got out five weeks ago on good behavior. And Flash busted out in a hurry. The loot was never recovered, was it? All that gold. But I bet you the human whale has got his hands on it, and that's why Flash is after him. Right. We've got to get to him first. Well, he certainly seems to like this neighborhood, doesn't he? Let's get a map of the city and start telephoning hotels. Yes, he does have a shaved head. Right. Thanks. Put down the Stub Hotel, 305 East Maple. He checked out this morning. That human whale is hopping around like a flea, but he's not hopping very far. Yeah, all the hotels were within six or seven blocks of each other. Must mean something. Like Vicky said, he likes the neighborhood. But he's sure making himself hard to trace. Say, all the hotels make a kind of a square. Or a circle. He could be circling around something. His buried loot? His car? His garage. He can flea hop hotels, but it's almost impossible to rent garage space here in town. So it's never more than a short walk. Find the garage, and we find the white limo. Find the human whale, and we find the loot. He's got it all right. How do you know for sure? The guy at the hotel said he was short of cash this morning. He wanted to pay his bill in gold. H. Whale, the human whale. He led us on some chase. Skip, run back to the office. 
Flash Jordan. The New Orleans kid? The escaped convict? He said he'd call us back. Do I have to babysit the telephone just when we're about to wrap up the big fish? Mammal. Let Flash know where to find the white limo and then call the police and tell them that an escaped convict is on his way to the Midtown garage. Okay. Bloodhound Detective Agency, whenever there's trouble with her on the double, Mr. Bloodhound is not here. Oh, Mr. Jordan. Yes, we found the white car you're looking for. Moby Richard in person. Place to carry a wrench. Hey, uh, I was inspecting you, kid. <laughs> yeah, I bet you have. I heard you jump jail. I was going to divvy up your share to gold. <laughs> oh, sure you were. Hey, hey I wouldn't double cross a pal. Uh, yeah, well, I'll take my cut right now. Sure, kid. Here. <laughs> I say my time, you guys can't hold me. The escape con is right there, and I think he's got a broken foot. The human will through the book at him. It weighs a ton. Take it easy, Hans. May I introduce Mr. Uh, Flash Jordan, alias the New Orleans uh, Kid. He pulled the gold bug caper a few years ago with Mr. Moby Richard. You guys got nothing on me. <laughs> How about possession of stolen property? Feel how heavy this is. A book this size should only weigh a few ounces. This must weigh 15 or 20 pounds. I'll bet it's solid gold. I swear, I never saw that blue book before. Say all the loot has been in disguise. Like that wrench you slipped into your pocket and made a dull thud when you dropped it. Let's say the rest of the gold has been melted down and cast into <laughs> tools. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's gold, all right. There are more tools in the trunk of the car. The judge will throw the book at you, gents. <sighs> Who are these rotten kids? Bloodhound gang. Yeah, and we're chair weight and gold. 